When I first met Barbara, she said, you know, Robert, you're never going to be, you're never going to be enthused or happy with your career unless you do something creative. And boy, did that stick with me. Her era, she was married to him. She was loyal to him. He came first. And it wasn't until after he died that she branched out. She would take his paintings and use lino blocks to create these prints. Some of them have eight or nine plates, which is hugely labor intensive. And it shows how much time and technique and knowledge and skill it takes to create something like that. So I think she really took that side of her life seriously. After I got my degree in fine arts crafts, I decided to uh, um, establish a craft center in the gallery for the exhibition of Albert Art. It was funny to be able to come out here and everybody's in a t-shirt and jeans. You know, and, and that's the way they are. That's the way that people are real. Uh, and there were various paintings and, you know, various educational uh, things that were set up with the artists and whatnot. But to be able to come out and just talk with them and get to know them and understand their process and why do they love it out here? And it was because of that. And Barbara made that happen. When my, my daughter was born in 1971, and when she was six, she came here to the children's camp that was held once a week. I mean, it was here for a week. She used to bring a friend, they'd camp on the lawn, and then they'd come for a week or two weeks every summer. So I met Barbara, and then, you know, she asked me if I'd like to help out teach some of the kids, you know, with the programs and various things that I thought, well, that's kind of cool. So that's how I really got to know her. And then I realized it wasn't just teaching kids. She had all these studios set up to do various things, you know, knitting, quilting, you know, incredible amount of things. And they had all had their little clubs, you know. So this really became a center for, uh, for the arts and crafts. She showed the work in her home and she wanted people to see it. She opened her home up for people to see art in a comfortable place where you, you know, it wasn't the white cube, it wasn't the pretentious art community, it was an easy place to come and be. So she was a bit of an anomaly, I think, a very strong, strong positive person. She's a very formidable person but a very positive person and therefore she was gave everybody energy. So yeah, no, she was, had a positive influence. 